we're gonna talk about vagal stimulation. So you have two systems in your body, your sympathetic nervous system and your parasympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic is fight or flight, and it's what pain and inflammation run on. Your parasympathetic is rest, repair, and restore. If you imagine that a person who is a meditator has a higher parasympathetic nervous system, or the people in New York are running totally around on sympathetic, all chronic pain is based upon your sympathetic nervous system and deregulation of your parasympathetic nervous system. What controls your parasympathetic nervous system is the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is the longest nerve in your body. It's a cranial nerve. It goes from your brain to your ear, your throat, your heart, your lungs, goes through every organ in your body and ends in your colon. With Stimpod and Resimax, we do it in two points. We're gonna do it in the Simba Concha, in the ear, which is right here, so it's down around under the hood and you stick the stim pod right up in there. And then we'll put the Resimax on the patient's belly button. And the premise of that is the vagus nerve goes through the umbilicus between mother and child and its communication point. And it gets severed at the point of birth. When you stimulate that, it has a positive effect on the vagus nerve. When you are doing vagal stimulation, you're basically hacking your nervous system. You're upregulating your parasympathetic nervous system. So you're cheating and you're becoming a master meditator. Also, when the patients are doing this therapy, you would have the patients lay down, breathe in through their nose and out through their mouth for the whole duration of the therapy. Within the parasympathetic nervous system is your cholergenic anti-inflammatory pathway. That is your body's natural natural way to decrease pain and inflammation. Where we can literally treat any kind of pain, whether that's fibromyalgia, failed back surgery, by literally treating a nerve in their ear. When I have patients coming in for vagal stimulation, I want them to be breathing on their own. Also at home, I have them breathe 25 times in the morning before they get out of bed and 25 times before they go to bed. This has a really profound positive effect on a ton of chronic pain patients. Well, I had a woman who was referred to me by a neurologist for Bell's palsy. Half of her face was paralyzed and I asked her, what else does she feel? What else is wrong with her? And she says, I have this polyneuropathy thing where she feels electric shocks going through her body. I have her breathing. We're doing the vagal stimulation. Her face resolved from the Bell's palsy. And after the third visit, I said, but how you doing? And she goes, I feel great. I don't feel any more electric shocks anymore. I don't feel the world is pressing down on my body. I'm like relaying to her that your health is from inside out rather than outside in. It's not the gabapentin that's gonna make you healthier. It's upregulating your parasympathetic nervous system and making your own self healthier. And this is something that they've been lied to their entire life, that it's from outside in. You need to take medication for everything that is wrong with you. And that's not the fact. There's a lot of important things in reference to vagal stimulation. It is your brain gut access. That is your vagus nerve. A lot of things can happen when you do vagal stimulation, but one of the things that always happens are neurotransmitters are made in the lining of the gut. When you do vagal stimulation, it forcefully creates the production and release of neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters are the communication factors throughout your body and make you feel normal. Basically, patients will do the vagal stimulation and they'll immediately feel much more chill and calm. I'm gonna talk about the things that I've treated with vagal stimulation and it is a ton of different stuff. I've treated Alzheimer's patients with vagal stimulation. They do vagal nerve implants on newly diagnosed people with Alzheimer's. This is the brain gut access and when you release those neurotransmitters, it makes your brain function more normally. I've done it for depression. I've done it on patients who are bipolar. Came in in a manic phase, left completely calm. I think this should be relayed prior to people just seeing vagal stimulation because if you just see vagal stimulation, it's like giving car keys to a kid and they have a Lamborghini and they're like, all right, just press the button and go, just floor it. And what's gonna happen? It's not gonna be good. They don't know what they're doing. We have to actually teach them a bit about their body and how they shall move forward.